Hey guys, this is my favorite time of the year. We've already started on a couple jars of freezer jelly from our raspberries, and it is the first harvest that we're getting from our garden. And uh, along with harvesting from the garden, we gotta start thinking about other things that we're gonna harvest. And on this week's video of Carl's Off the Grid, I've got a new toy that I wanna show you that uh, every homestead should have. Anyways, all right, let's get down to business. Um, the reason I'm out here in the open clearing today is uh, obviously, as you could tell by the intro, this is uh, getting close to being the harvest time of the season, uh, harvest time of the year, I should say. And uh, I've had some concerns over this past fall and summer, I have contracted Lyme disease not once, but twice. And so I have achy knees, achy elbows, achy shoulders, my joints just haven't come back all the way. And I noticed that my strength hasn't come back either. And so uh, I started to wonder, what am I gonna do about harvesting my protein this year? I can't pull back my bow anymore. And uh, it really bugged me. As you may know uh, from following the channel for a while, I am a huge, huge uh, fan of archery hunting. And so the kind people over at uh, Bear Archery have given me a reason to have hope for harvesting my deer this year and I'm going to share that with you in this video and uh, I'm not real fond of it at first you know I'm kind of hemmed and hot around it uh, I love traditional bows I love my compound bow but this is going to be a new type of bow that I've never used before it is a crossbow and um, you can tell I've got it out and I kind of been playing with it a little bit trying to um, see what characteristics this bow has, that, uh, uh, things that might be, uh, you know, advantageous to share with you. And this bow here specifically shoots, I believe, when I was reading, it's 400 feet per second. So it's boogieing pretty good. Uh, a couple of quick features I'm going to share with you on this bow. Um, things that were important to me being a first-time crossbow shooter is if you look real close right here that silver mechanism that is an anti dry fire mechanism so if you do not have a bolt in the bowl you cannot dry fire it and wreck your bowl so that is huge secondly uh, i have the caps off the off the scope right now because i'm going to be sighting it in today but um that is a uh a scope that lights up inside it illuminates so during low sunlight you can still um, have a good view of your target. Um, when you first get a crossbow it is very essential that you put a wax coating on here. This crossbow came with its own. It's a rail protectant um, so that your string doesn't get frayed as it slides up and down the rail and you should put that protectant on for this particular bow. Uh, when I talked to a manufacturer they said about every nine or ten shots you should go ahead and lube up this rail so that you don't wreck it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cock the bow and uh, I'll show you how that works. It's very easy system. This particular one, um, I've already shortened this up to, to my length. It has um, two handles on it and then it's got this mechanism here that locks into the string. It goes around the string and then uh, I'm gonna back up by the cameras uh, close up here and I'll show you what we do. I'll put my um, my feet down on on the uh, on the front mechanism right here where my left hand is and then with the back of this string I'm gonna go ahead and put this string right in the groove in the back. Um, there is a groove back there and then I'll back up so you can see we're just gonna put the crossbow on the ground. I think that's a pretty good view right there grab the two handles make sure that this is on safety and you simply just pull it back till you hear the click once you hear the click then it's safe to take the string off and you can see the bowl is cocked and we are going to go ahead and i'll fire it for you um, now that we have it cocked, I'm gonna get rid of that mechanism. There is a key part that you need to be aware of to keep your hands out of. I don't know if you can see, but these are two silencers and they also stop the string from going forward when the bow is shot. Let's draw a line across here, imaginary line, and you can see where the string is pulled back right through here. Never get your hand inside that triangle. Uh, if you do, it's gonna 
have a great opportunity for causing bodily harm and danger unto you. And then uh, what you do is grab your bolt, the odd feather, in this case it's white, lays down, and you keep your hand forward of these two key parts right here that stop the string, and slide the bolt back until it'll push back that silver um, anti-fire mechanism that's right up in, in this area and you seat it until it stops and now that it's stopped it is fully loaded and ready to shoot I do have the safety on right now we'll treat it like a gun from here out always point it in a safe direction know your target and beyond and then never put your finger inside the trigger guard which in this case is this big opening right here until you intend to fire it otherwise you could end up um, creating danger to yourself or others around you. And now when we fire it, it's gonna be just like firing a gun. Um, keep it pointed in safe direction. I'm taking my safety off now. I am pointed at the target and then we'll hold it up to our shoulder, point at our target, and then you're safe to put your finger on the trigger and shoot and it's just that easy um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring that bolt back and then we'll get a couple more um, shots on target and see how we can do with sighting this bow in So this is actually my third shot right out of the box and you can see right where the arrow is in relation to the bullseye there and right out of the box she was pretty much sighted in and on target we just have some fine tuning to do. Okay, so basically we went ahead and you can tell by the, the fletchings, we shot the living heck out of this thing. So, you know, my attitude towards crossbows, I guess is starting to change a little bit. I guess they do have their place. Um, you know, with the Lyme disease, uh, I was really reluctant to switch over. I love having my traditional bows or my, or my um, compound bow. But, you know, as life has it, I can't hunt that way anymore. So this is a great alternative, um, uh, you know, way to be able to hunt. And I will get a couple hunts in this year with archery as I do every year. And I think I'll probably feature this just so that I can have the opportunity to be able to get a deer with a little bit different bow. If I do feel good, by all means, I'll go back and hunt with the Matthews. I'm very partial towards them. But it's cool that... Um, that we've got this uh, bear intense uh, crossbow to use and it gives us an alternative you know if you have any of you people at home have arthritis or you're just getting older you just can't pull back that bow like you used to be able to it's a great alternative to be able to stay outdoors and outside in the wild so just wanted to share that with you real quick and wanted to congratulate my daughter and her husband uh, if you're watching this they just got married on Saturday and um, I'm kind of using this video as a filler video. That's why we're not back at the cabin. But I uh, wanted to wish them uh, the best in their marriage. And I'm excited to have another son-in-law. This has been a big year. I've uh, got two son-in-laws now. And uh, we're just thrilled. So, all right. We'll catch you next week on Carl's Off the Grid. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, urge you to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. It helps us get an algorithm. We'll catch you next week on Carl's Off the Grid.
It's all right, Mama.